According to Forbes, teenagers spend nearly five hours a day on social media. Usage among younger kids is constantly growing. A state line school district held an event to help parents understand the impact these platforms have on children. Jess Lipson was there. Jess, organizers say embrace it all. Eric, experts, experts organizing the event talked about the fact there's no keeping children away from social media. It's here to stay and can be extremely useful if handled right. Oregon School District administrators hope to give parents the resources to make the most of these platforms. Social media is tough dealing with, with especially parents, all the new stuff that's out there. Bruce Obendorf and many other parents are trying to grasp the impact social media has on their kids. The parent of an Oregon School District student joined 60 plus others in getting information on how to handle their child's social media. For the last few years, parents ask us after things happen um, to their youth, what, what should we be doing? What can we do? How do we keep our kids safe online? So when we found that Kevin was available to us, we jumped on that opportunity. Kevin Polkey, the executive director for KP Counseling, ran the event. He's been speaking with schools for more than eight years, whether it's been students, staff, or like tonight, parents and guardians. We're going to be talking about um, what are some of the impacts of social media? Why does it have such a, an impact on developing brains such as our young people are going through right now? And, um, and what is it that they're getting from it? The dopamine hits, um, how there is a, a false sense of community. Parents learn some tips and tricks to better help their child with their social media usage. Those in attendance left with handouts to bring home to their kids in order to start that dialogue. Giving some tools to the parents on how they can set some boundaries up within their own home. And, um, and so we have a, an agreement that you can work with with their own students. Um, where are safe places to utilize um, their smartphone and social media? When's it time to put it to sleep? So we're incredibly excited to give them an opportunity to learn and take some resources home. A few tips stressed tonight were limiting social media in shared spaces at home, like the living room, parents educating themselves on social media trends, and most importantly, never sharing personal information online. Eric? All solid advice. Thanks, Jess.